What's up guys, Digging07 here. Doing my very first unboxing video, very excited. Um, I wanted to replace my webcam. I'm currently using my Kinect V2 camera as my webcam. So I decided to go out and buy a new webcam for my computer. And uh, what I ended up getting was the Razer Keo. Um, I chose this webcam over like a Logitech C922. Um, or any of those other webcams because this one actually has a ring light on it and uh, just kind of show you kind of how my setup is let me uh, switch over cameras real quick so this is kind of my setup that 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 is like my light for my streaming and then uh, of course I have my uh, my connect cam right here um, that I use so um, Let's go ahead and go through this unboxing process. Um, the cost for this camera is about a hundred bucks. Uh, I got it from GameStop, as you can see. Um, the reason why I went to GameStop to get it is I had credit there for turning in some games. So um, I got it for a little cheaper. Um, so when you first get the box, it's kind of hard to tell. There's a little tab right here. Let me see if I can turn on a light real quick. There we go. There's a little tab right here, kind of like on some video games. So, and then they have like a ribbon here that you can hook hook it up to, or like, I guess for display purposes, I don't know. Better than plastic, move this out of the way. So, let's go ahead and unbox this thing, shall we? So let's go ahead, I'm gonna try to do this. I'm, I'm not left-handed and I'm doing it with my left hand. And naturally, the the deal breaks and I don't have a knife but I do have a handy dandy flathead screwdriver in here so we can just kind of grip it like that finish tearing it along that perforated edge and let's go ahead and open it dun 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 Okay, so we have some documentation here. Congratulations. Uh, it says, congratulations, there is no turning back. As the world of live streaming grows larger, more entertaining, and more competitive, many want to climb the ranks to stardom. The Razer Broadcaster line of products is designed to give you the unfair streaming advantage so you can ascend to the top faster. Whether it's a microphone outfitted with a variety of recording patterns or absolute clarity, a capture card delivering high-def gaming footage near zero latency or a webcam that opens the door to a whole new streaming experience, your audience will enjoy the best you have to offer. Let's see. Okay. Um, we are the cult of Razer, and our community ranges from casual gamers to world champions, and we share one thing in common. We love winning and demand the best hardware to pwn at it. Indeed. So if you love gaming as much as we do, join us for join us at the Cult of Razor. You won't find a better fit elsewhere. We take we take care of our own, and you'll enjoy the perks like exclusive contests and giveaways. You'll also get a first look at Razor's newest offerings, reviews and tips from professional gamers, and exclusive coverage of high-profile gaming events. This is all you have to do. Join us. Go to the join us on their website, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube. No. no, no. Take up your weapon and find an opponent worth crushing, happy hunting. That's a cool little letter. Cool little letter. And it's on this weird, like, it's on this weird, uh, like, plastic paper thing. Like, you can kind of see through it. I don't know. Maybe. Okay. Then we have the book. The guide, I'm assuming. Um, it looks like we have a razor sticker in here, too. One second. You know what, let me switch cameras for this. Here we go. So, let's see what we got here. We have, like I said, it looks like the guide, the setup guide. Yeah, basically the setup guide. How things work. How you can set it up on a tripod. Cool, cool, cool. And stickers. Who doesn't like stickers? Go ahead and put this back in the 
in the uh, little plastic sleeve. Save those stickers for later. Not sure what I'm going to do with them yet. And let's take a look at this. Uh, let's take a look at this uh, setup, shall we? So when we open the box, we see that it's got some really good uh, styrofoam padding. We have uh, braided wiring here. Okay. Nice little thing for cable management, like that. And comes up through the slit. And let's see how this thing comes out. Maybe the whole thing's got to come out. Okay, so we have a hard, really dense styrofoam at the bottom. So give me one second, we'll just take another look at this. Let me swap it back over here. And we just kind of kind of pull it out by the, uh, the cable. And let's, let's take a look at this. It's, it's, it's really cool, this is how it came. And it looks like it just comes it unfolds like so. You can do it like that. You can fold it back up. Um, you have the tripod screw hole right here. Okay. And serial number on the back. Plastic uh, film covering up the screen. Pretty decent motion, little nice subtle logo right here. Don't know if you can see it that well, but it's right there. Very subtle. Very cool, very cool. Um, it looks pretty self-explanatory. Um, it's USB powered, so theoretically you should just be able to plug in the USB and you should just be able to go. So. Um, I'm gonna switch out the cameras real quick. We're gonna you'll you'll see this, and then we'll see the quality of the of uh, this camera, and we'll be able to see the light on the front. Uh, I'll use the I'll use the cell the selly cam, if you will, to see the light on the front, so we can just kind of see what we are working with here. So give me just a few moments. I just plugged in the camera. I removed the Connect camera and uh, plugged in the new Razer Keo camera. So now we're gonna go through the installation process. I have it sitting on top of my monitor. Um, it looks like it actually has a mic in it too, which looks cool. Okay. So let's go ahead and go through the, the setup. It says congratulations, you now hold the tool to take your stream to the next level, customize lighting, image profile, so your stream looks consistent. Just white, white balance, saturation, hue, focus, and zoom distance with Razer Synapse. Use the live preview to ensure that you look perfect before you stream. So let's click next. Um, I don't have any chroma stuff behind me, as you saw. So let's raise your cortex from Optimizing your stream's full potential to finding the best game prices, get more out of your experience, all in one software suite. No. Soft miner, Razer's mining, reward software lets you earn Razer silver when your PC is idle or while you're AFK. So basically like Bitcoin mining. To use the power of your GPU to do Bitcoining for them, pretty much. Um... Uh, game mining combinations with a single press. Okay. So let's go ahead and install. Okay, done. Um, let's go ahead and launch Razer Synapse. And I just did the email verification. As you can see, your primary email has been verified. Let's go ahead and click next. And I don't want to receive any marketing communication and recommendations just not my thing all right loading up uh skip all right we have the razor keo this is the only razor device i have on my system so 
go ahead and click it. Oh, well, hello. Let's go ahead and adjust it a little bit here. Okay. All right, so now I'm gonna add it to my Streamlabs OBS. I'm gonna add this camera to the Streamlabs OBS. And we're gonna actually, this is the old cam. So you can see just from this screen right here, this is kind of like a still. You can see that you get like a whole wide view because it is a, a an Xbox camera. So we're gonna go to the Razer Keo. There it goes. Easy peasy. So I'm not seeing how to uh, one second. Configure video. So we don't have a 1920 by 1080. So as you can see, just trying to figure out some things here. Okay. So I was figured I figured out how to actually get it into uh, 1080p mode. Uh, it does go 30 frames a second at 1080p versus 60 frames at this uh, 720. And uh, let me just go to desktop here. So uh, I use Streamlabs OBS to record and uh, to stream, obviously. So. We are going to just say, we're just gonna add a uh, source here so you can kind of see how, how to do it. So it's video capture device, add source. And we're gonna pick the video capture device here, add existing source, okay? I'm gonna leave it up here in this corner so you can see it. Um, so what we have to do is we have to double click video capture device or whatever whatever your device is named. Uh, mine just so happens to be video capture device. We gotta change resolution S FPS type to custom. And uh, there's the different versions here. We can go 1280 by 720. We can go 640 by 360. I'm going to move this over to the side so you can kind of see. We can go 640 by 480, which gives us that square, the nice square look, square-ish. Um, and then here's the 1920 by 1080 uh, that does 30 frames a second. As you can see, I'm just going to move my head and you can kind of see the frame rate. And I'm going to drop it back down to 1280 by 720, and it does it a little nicer. Um, so I'm gonna stick to the 1080, uh, just cause the head cam doesn't really matter as far as 60 frames a second. Most people really care about the games when you're doing this. So um, yeah, that's how you set it to uh, 1080p resolution. Built-in microphone, ring light with LED diffuser. Oh, okay, okay, hang on. All right, so now we have light. Okay, so you actually have to turn. There's a knob around the camera that um, adjusts the light. So I think that looks like it might be pretty good right there. What do you think? I don't have any other lights on, so it actually looks really good. So, so you have to twist the you have to twist around the lens on the outside and that's your um, that's your that's how you control the brightness of the light so so now it's all the way up um, super bright uh, don't know how I'm gonna be able to play with that so if I turn it down just a little bit you have just enough light on me and it works good and let's go to the phone cam, right? So, dun 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 dun. dun. And then, like I said, you just tw 
twist here. This uh, determines how much light. And uh, it sits nice and snug. Nice and snug right there on top of the monitor. And let's go ahead and peel this plastic. Okay, so it actually was just around the ring light. It wasn't actually on the camera. It was, uh, the, the thing that I found not that great about it was that the, to me, the uh, USB cable needs to be just a little bit longer, maybe about another foot. My computer sits like pretty far down, like over here to my right. And uh, it's probably a good, I don't know, four foot, four or five foot. So it's not taut. There's there's still some slack, um, but it, it could use like, I don't know, I guess another foot of uh, length on the USB cable. Uh, but I mean, it works. I have a little bit of slack left in it. Um, it looks great, fits great on the monitor. Um, the video quality, as you can see, is pretty good. Um, I just don't like that it, I can't do like 1920 by 1080 and fill out this whole screen, or I probably can, I just haven't figured it out yet. So, appreciate you guys uh, for checking out the video, my first unboxing, let me know how I did, and uh, any tips that you might have for me. So, appreciate it, see you later.